Each season, the latest catwalk uh, looks capture our imaginations, but it's not just the newest fashions showcase. The most up-to-date makeup trends set off those outfits to perfection. Yeah, and don't we know it? <laughs> but how do you recreate those flawless runway looks? Well, joining us right here in the studio is the master of makeup, Napoleon Purse. Good morning to you. Nice to see Hi. you back on the show. Good morning. Great to be here. Now, you've brought three looks using, that you're using at the David Jones Spring Summer Launch tonight. Uh, is there one thing that you would tell us stands out this season? I mean, flawlessness is in complexion, you know, matte, contour, sculpting, so that women are actually just wanting to kind of like have that instant five pound loss, you know, with just sculpting and contouring and being able to keep it really easy. And then a lipstick. Lipstick is back, whether it's red, whether it's orange, whether it's nude, but it's all about lipstick. Okay. So it's a big focus on the lips and really quite strong. Is this, this model is beautiful. You've done her makeup here. Isn't she divine? Is Good Australian girl. This is the contour. This is the kind of, I call it Nairobi. I had a trip to Africa. I was inspired by this whole kind of contouring, just really natural shades, really kind of highlighting the under eye area you know and then with the lip you just add this kind of like very natural I call it golden the beautiful mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> and just kind of add it in you know and it's just really easy take it anywhere from day to night um, and you can just just look fabulous and just you know tell a great story wow mm. so that's a beautiful sort of contoured look and that's going to be for David Jones tonight let's look at some of the looks or another look that you're looking at and this is an inspired by old world Hollywood this yes. is the red lip right it is it's kind of a little bit of risto chic the red lip but Hollywood paid homage to that kind of northern European look mm -hmm. and it's all about this kind of glamour Elizabeth Taylor never used to let anyone other than her wear red lipstick on set mm -hmm. and I kind of love that a control freak she leaves her mark with her territory when she wears red but what about us normal <laughs> gals Napoleon like I look at that red lip and I'm frightened by a red lip and this is an orange lip as well. Uh -huh. What about us normal girls? Can we get away with that? Because what about bleeding into, you know? Well, first of all, you're not normal, you're beautiful. Well, number one. Oh, number two. Oh, number two. No, no, very normal. I can no, do it. Beautiful and normal. Very, no, but number two is keep it on for 12 minutes. I always tell my customers, and I say this to David Jones as well, when you put on a new lip colour that's strong and bold, wait for the 12 minute mark because then you go you know what I can kind of do this for tonight and I can kind of go out with this and and kind of sense of confidence or you go I hate it and then you go back to nude. Okay, so what? don't wipe it off after one minute no, which is what I would do. That's the big shot. Well, no, you know what you, you do, know? this is your big mistake, you miss your, you m mix up your Aristo chic with your Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you, know, you try and do it all. <laughs> okay, coming into the warmer weather of course, so what's the newest lip colour that we're going to be looking out for? I just say? love this whole idea of the nude, the, the golds, the bronzers, um, it's just easy to wear it's just you know with a tan without a tan and it's better to fake tan rather than like you know suntan um, and I just love the way that that kind of works I use a bit of a darker lip liner at the moment just to give a little bit of definition and I yeah. kind of think you can even use lip balm if you kind of like just on the beach or just going out you know for a barbecue uh, and with the darker lip liner always the lip is always defined and beautiful look at that that's it's beautiful gorgeous when we, when we talk about contouring now that's a bit scary too lighter shades darker shades how do you do it you know, I have this contouring palette and I've got like this highlight shade, blush mm -hmm. shade and dark one. In the eye area here, I go with the darker shade. I really like to bring out that socket line. Look up mm -hmm. for me. And then I like to kind of contour under here. When it comes to this area here, I like to use a bit of the blush colour just in this inner area here. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm highlighting in the under eye area, I like to use the lighter colour. Bring it in there, centre of the nose, right into the area here and right in the middle. Mm -hmm. That gives your face kind of this like beautiful blushed but contoured look and it can be quite natural and then as you can see in the eye area I've added a little bit of sparkle just so that you can mm. take it anywhere you want. And how do you make sure that look lasts all night or all you, day? You know by using powders it kind of like lasts and then touch up like you know but I use powder contours because that way it kind of just makes sure that it maintains. If you're using a cream you know then you do need to touch up during the day as well. Mm. Business idea for you? A makeup line for guys to paint abs on. I think mean, it's a huge market, <laughs> huge market, right? You can take that and make millions on it. Right? Okay, good, I will. <laughs> Larry has employed that method in the last sort of 48 hours. Okay. Okay. He's, yeah, he's very well. familiar with it. I missed out on the shimmering lip. <laughs> Thank you, good to see you. Good Thank to see you, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Good to see uh, you. Just ahead.